All right, recording's on and we're starting. All right, hello everyone. My name is Juan Zapanta. I'm Jacqueline Marin. And together we'll be presenting on Domino's strategy, beginning with our issue assessment. The quick service restaurant industry comprises fast food restaurants that are defined by their fast service combined with limited menu offerings and table service. The top five leading QSR companies are Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, Yum Brands, Wendy's Company, and Domino's Pizza. Continuously, these QSR companies compete on the basis of product quality, image, technology, pricing, location, service, and convenience. In terms of global retail sales, Domino's is dominating the QSR industry, operating in more than 17,000 locations in over 90 markets worldwide. Currently, 98% of Domino's stores are franchise owned and are operating under a straightforward model. This model generates significant cash flow to the company through franchise annual royalty payments and revenue derived from the supply chain. Domino's is able to leverage technology and innovate their service methods by delivering house-made pizzas with quality ingredients at competitive prices through user-friendly ordering channels and using efficient service strategies. In recent years, Domino's has invested moderately in its technology, the focus of which is to make the ordering process more efficient and convenient for both users and restaurant workers. Domino's has always championed the tenets of hard work opportunity, embracing community, and honesty. The pizza giant prides itself on the training opportunities they offer to their employees. Internal growth and providing opportunities for anyone willing to work hard are the foundation of their beliefs. There is plenty of opportunity for growth at Domino's. Hundreds of thousands of team members began their careers as in-store associates and have been presented opportunities to grow into the corporate world and to own their own franchise location. Now, in the modern QSR market, Domino's is continuously trying to compete utilizing a variety of methods. These methods include expanding into foreign markets, innovating in the technological aspect, providing team member opportunities to increase internal development and improving its robust supply chain. Domino's strategy is offering quality products for excellent value with great service while leveraging technology to enhance innovation and drive loyalty. In this report, our team has assessed Domino's competitive position within the QSR industry. By utilizing relevant frameworks, we intend to demonstrate the suitable, suitable strategies that may contribute to a sustainable competitive advantage for Domino's Incorporated. Beginning with our research design. Our research design consists of primary uh, resources and secondary resources. Um, the primary sources coming straight from Domino's directly and the secondary sources being derived from IVIS World and Statista. The research design um, is um, going to give us a better understanding of the competitiveness of the quick service restaurant industry, as well as a better understanding of Domino's ability to gain a sustainable competitive advantage over other market competitors. The quick service restaurant industry it has reached a mature phase of its life cycle um, with uh, little to no growth become because firms that are operating in each of the segments have already experienced saturation. Uh, we, but despite the lack of um, growth, competition continues to peak at intense concentration. So if firms in the quick service restaurant industry want to thrive, then they must be prepared for strong price war, wars as well as the introduction of novel product offer. The pizza uh, sector in 2019 ranked Domino's um, gaining 19% uh, of the market share and in 2020 uh, going up 4% to 23% of the market share. With 50% um, of the pizza segment being held by smaller, more local regional um, competitors. The SCP 
uh, model here for the quick service restaurant industry um, faces monopolistic competition, hosting a large number of competing firms, as well as providing heterogeneous products and a low cost to entry and exit. This in this type of competition, firms are expected to achieve competitive advantage over others if they expect to survive. Um, for firm conduct for Domino's, per uh, they pursue a low cost strategy in efforts to complain that gain that competitive advantage. Um, for performance at the firm's level, they're competing with competitive parity and temporary advantage. Um, but within society, the quick service restaurant industry provides moderate employ employment to populations as well as introduces high efficiencies. But at the same time, uh, the quick service restaurant industry is declining in consumer spending over the past three years. So for our SWOT analysis, in terms of our internal um, strengths and weaknesses, for our weaknesses, we uh, wanted to address that retaining and acquiring employees is um, an industry issue due to the competitive wages offered by um, other firms. Some of the strengths um, that Domino's does have internally is their continuously revised supply chain partners as well as a focus on streamlined production operations, which provide them with the quick, quick service that they offer. They also leverage just-in-time inventory to manage costs for labor. And Fortress map, Mapping puts them at an advantage over other delivery services. Leveraging technology using their app-based services, as well as pizza tracking, and save my previous order options. Um, and uh, their other strength would be through franchise establishments, being that 90% of their store locations are franchise owned. Now, looking at their external opportunities and threats, um, some opportunities they have are uh, in creative change trajectory in terms of the service channels that they offer. Um, they can also be used to leverage um, an increase in production efficiencies if creative change in service channels are offered. Another opportunity would be expansion and diversification in product offerings to adhere to customers' tastes. Um, and then lastly, again, leveraging technology both internally and externally to help both franchises and um, staff as well as customers better use their ordering system. And then for threats externally, the industry like life cycle has matured. Um, also, the change in consumer eating habits is more focused on healthier alternative options. Competition in the quick service restaurant industry is high, and um, the quick service res uh, restaurant industry in general is subject to consumer spending. So for our real analysis, looking more closely at the strengths and weaknesses of the um, organization within the quick service restaurant industry, some of the most valuable things um, that we can take a look at here um, for their strengths would be streamlined production operation, um, being getting focused on getting that product in and out into the customer in a timely manner, uh, as well as fortress mapping, which is going to provide them a geog geographical location that um, increases efficiency by not um, keeping their drivers far from the store for too long and allowing them to return back and move to the next customer. Again, increasing looking at efficiencies. And then lastly, we'll be leveraging technology, which they have been on route for some time now and continuously innovate. Um, in terms of rarity, streamlined production operations is uh, definitely something that they have been focusing on in terms of increasing efficiencies, um, as well as the fortress map mapping, which is rare to other delivery services, as you will expect to get your orders in minimum of 30 minutes. Um, and then for rarity also, other delivery services and um, pizza segments don't necessarily offer uh, technology that will allow you to track your order, save your order, um, things like that. And for costly to imitate, as we can see here, 
Fortress mapping, leveraging technology, and um, supply chain partners are all costly uh, strengths that Domino's does have. Okay. So we can take a look at the value chain analysis. Okay, so taking, yeah, taking a look at value chain. Um, I'd like to begin with firm infrastructure. Uh, first off, Domino's uh, does have a close relationship with their franchisees, uh, you know, actively supervising to ensure quality is consistent across the board. As previously mentioned, Domino's is using a fortressing strategy. This involves uh, increasing number of franchises with a smaller delivery radius. Uh, this ensures that pizzas get delivered faster within uh, smaller radii. Within human resources management, all franchisees are required to, or all franchisees work under Domino's first for a year. After completion, they are allowed to create, you know, uh, their own franchise agreements with Domino's. Uh, it is important that they follow this rule in order to gain a better understanding of company culture and expectations. A majority, if not all, of Domino's higher-level employees start off smaller. Uh, there, however, there are also plenty of opportunities to rise up the ranks within Domino's work and culture. With regards to technology, uh, Domino's experimental driverless uh, delivery method is gaining support in its testing stages. In addition, Domino's app-based ordering system is convenient and efficient in lessening time spent ordering and cooking. As far as procurement, Domino's operates 21 dough and supply chain centers in the United States. Uh, within these centers, a majority of Domino's ingredients are processed and shipped out to franchises across the nation. Domino's prides itself on efficient deliveries and just-in-time scheduling. Going for now, going towards now their primary activities, uh, as, with regards to inbound logistics, as previously stated, Domino's operates 21 dough and supply chain centers in the United States, uh, five of which being five five others uh, taking um, operating within Canada. As with regards to operations, all food and drinks are prepared, and uh, Within, within the store and Domino's deliveries are managed solely by their franchisees. Uh, Domino's does not have any partnerships with third-party delivery services. Um, with regard to outbound logistics, Domino's has, a, uh, has an approximately 900 uh, uh, trucks and tractors uh, that assist with uh, supply deliver delivery and transportation. Domino's maintains a close relationship with franchisees, uh, once again, to maintain quality, product quality across the board. Moving towards marketing sales, uh, Domino's 599 and 799 deals, among others, uh, create significant value. As stated in our, um, our, our report, uh, Domino's does state that there is no clear target market. Um, moving back uh, on to service, Domino's services are primarily app-based. Customers who are welcome to leave feedback or ask questions through this service. And that concludes our uh, uh, value chain. And moving towards our five forces model, uh, beginning with our uh, uh, threat from new competitors. Um, Domino's competes in the pizza delivery and carry out market segments while competing in the broader QSR industry. Domestically, Domino's competes against regional chains and independents as well as major pizza players. These players including Pizza Hut, Papa John's, and Little Caesars Pizza, who also compete internationally. Now internationally, Domino's competes with these, uh, with Pizza Hut and Papa John's, as well as foreign, regional, specific, national, and local pizzerias. Domino's competes with these brands on the basis of product quality, image, technology, pricing, location, service, and convenience. Moving to threats from existing rivals, Domino's and its competitors can be affected by changes in consumer tastes, demographic trends, economic conditions, and consumer disposable income. Our team's analysis has shown that competitive competition in the QSR industry is high because industry growth is low and there are numerous competitors. Uh, let's also point out that Domino's also competes with these other brands on the basis of acquiring suitable drivers employees, real estate, and qualified franchisees. And at, at the same time, competitive rivalry has forced QSR brands to emphasize lower prices and a pricing war to attract customers. Now moving to threat of substitute products. 
I'd like to point out that eating habits have changed as people have become increasingly health conscious, uh, demanding alternatives to traditional fast food options. However, consumer trends towards eating healthy foods directly affect revenue volatility as well. This may counteract consumer spending, especially as pizza is considered a you know, less than healthy meal. As Americans steer toward healthier foods, some establishments that offer higher end or gourmet pizzas have benefited from this trend toward more health con con uh, consciousness and premiumization. Upscale pizza uh, places with a focus on gourmet menu items have experienced an increase in demand as they use better quality ingredients and more uh, healthy food options on their menus. Moving to threat of supplier power. We currently, uh, let's see, Domino's currently purchases both their meat and cheese from single suppliers uh, and have, have reported that they have not experienced a, any significant shortage of supplies or delays in receiving inventory or products. This is likely due to their effective use of just-in-time scheduling. Uh, prices charged to the company by our supply partners are subject to fluctuation. And, have, and, and that, that being the case, we have also been able to, uh, historically, we have been able to pass increased costs and savings onto stores. Uh, we periodically enter into supplier contracts to manage the risk from changes in commodity prices. Mo lastly, with a threat from, threat from firepower, uh, the company's business is not dependent upon a single retail customer or small group of customers, including franchisees. No customer counted for more than 10% of total consolidated revenues in 2019, 2018, or 2017. Now this suggests that because no single target market contributes a majority of the total consolidated revenue, we can infer that buyer power is low. So I'd like to move on to our implications. From our VRIO analysis, our team, our team identified that one of Domino's current weaknesses is employee acquisition and retention. QSR companies are competing on the basis of acquiring suitable human resources, while at the same time working to retain their current employees. Consequently, operational inefficiencies occur when employees must allocate time to manually input customer orders by, over the phone. Reducing phone orders in the QSR industry has enabled large firms such as McDonald's, Taco Bell, or Chick-fil-A to increase operational efficiencies and to neutralize the weakness in employee allocation and retention. Our team's recommendation is to alleviate both these issues is to eliminate the option to order over the phone. There are more benefits than drawbacks to this option. First, eliminating over the phone ordering benefits the franchise by enabling staff to focus on product quality and curbside pickup. Time spent on the phone will be eliminated, thus increasing efficiency. Second, with less employees answering phones, franchise owners will be able to leverage just-in-time scheduling to meet demands with the option of reducing labor costs. This could be done by scheduling less employees per shift and or increasing training in streamlined production operations. From our SCP analysis, our team has assessed that Domino's is implementing a low-cost strategy in pursuit of gaining greater market share in the QSR pizza segment. With that in mind, there are certain behaviors that must be taken in consideration. For example, Little Caesars Pizza is successful for cheaper pizza. In exchange for quality, Little Caesars achieves success by appealing to a target market with low in lower income. Now, if Domino's focuses its lower cost strategy, low cost strategy towards competing with Little Caesars, then the public may perceive the quality of Domino's product offering as lesser what works for Little Caesars, if copied, becomes, would become detrimental to Domino's competitive position, thereby putting Domino's in a position of competitive disadvantage. To reach a position of competitive advantage, our team recommends that Domino's adjusts its low cost strategy to instead target the 52% market share that consists of smaller competitors. For example, smaller competitors operating in local communities may have a better understanding of local tastes and preferences if Domino's leverages its low cost strategy towards incorporating the tastes of local populations through creative change, then they can leverage their low cost offerings to accommodate for any increase in product costs. For example, instead of a 
$25 three topping large size pizza, Domino's can instead offer a, for example, $25 deal featuring a large specialty pizza, one large two topping and a two liter soda. This unique bundle will likely eliminate any negative associations Domino's may have with cheaper, lower cost competitors while at the same time increasing offering value. Due to the change in customer preferences and perceived quality of gourmet menu items influencing consumer spending toward healthier alternative options, Domino's has the opportunity to leverage their pricing to save consumers money as well as provide food with perceived value. From our SWOT analysis, our team has considered that as consumer tastes and preferences change, quick service restaurants have the opportunity to neutralize the threat of substitution by adjusting their menus to accommodate change in consumer preferences. Domino's is well known for offering a simple menu. However, this simple menu does not accommodate alternative diets, which, which puts Domino's at a competitive disadvantage. Now, simply adding a vegetarian option may put Domino's at competitive parity, but our team thinks differently. Our recommendation is that Domino's invests capital into developing menu offerings that accommodate healthy alternative options. According to our five forces model, upscale pizzerias that offer gourmet menu items are experiencing an increase in demand. Therefore, a strong, healthy product offering will likely reposition Domino's to a stronger competitive position in both the QSR pizza market segment and the QSR industry. Now, having performed a series of analyses on Domino's strategy, our team has been able to determine Domino's competitive position in the QSR pizza industry and QSR industry. Given the nature of this mature industry, firms who wish to gain competitive advantage over others should consider refining their product offerings and innovating operational processes. Our Vrio analysis has shown that Domino's tactics have created significant value. Tactics like fortress mapping and just-in-time scheduling has kept production efficient and deliveries made on time. Our five forces analyses has provided us with insight as, how, as to how Domino supply chain operations and how well the pizza giant is operating relative to outside threats. In summation, Domino's is found to be at a competitive parity at several points of interest. If implemented well, our recommendations may turn the tides, putting the pizza giant in a stronger competitive position. My name is Juan Zaponta. I'm Jacqueline Marin. And we thank you for listening to our presentation. Thank you. And here are our sources.